Folks, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. I'll explain. Number one, it's absolutely free. It means you don't pay a dime out of pocket. Number two, you can cre- use creation tools to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer like I'm doing with my phone. Number three, if you want to hear it on multiple platforms, Anchor can do that for you. So you can hear it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, among others. And the most and the thing is you can make money without anybody listening. As little as that. And everything you need to do is in your to make a podcast is all here. To get started, please download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You'll be glad you did. Well, this is a season coming up like no other. And we're going to do the best we can to get the opponents and what they look like this season and how they'll look, given what we're in at this point in time with COVID. So, with that being said, in part one of the 2020 Canes Opponent Preview Series, we're going to preview the UAB Blazers, our opponent, on Thursday night, September 10th at Hard Rock Stadium in the season opener. Now, to give you an idea about UAB, this is what they are coming in. They are dependent on junior quarterback Tyler Johnson III, and the coaching staff is going to have to figure a way to not get him hit as much as he has the last few years. Now, he's going to win that job over sophomore Dylan Hopkins, who started five games, and he didn't have much success moving the ball as much as Johnson did, who was very good two years ago. Spencer Brown is coming back, and he's their career, he's their career rushing leader. Although last year he had 566 yards and averaged 3.8 yards a carry, he was hampered by a foot injury. So that's going to be, if he's healthy, he could have a big year for them. Now Jermaine Brown Jr. came onto the scene last as a freshman and had 446 yards. Junior Luce, Luce, Luscious Stanley, was, was finally healthy after two injury tough injury injury hit seasons was also a key cog in that group for them. The receiving core is going to be very good. They have Austin Watkins who's just the third UAB receiver to re- to record a thousand yards in a season. And the first is Roddy White did in two thousand four. They also have Myron Mitchell back and slot receiver Marcus Grossman and he'll see a bigger role coming in as a starter now. They'll have senior tight end Hayden Pittman, who's a four-year starter, and they have a very experienced line. And six returning players earned starts last year. Now, when you look at the defense, they return experience and some names. And, of course, they're led by Jordan Smith on the edge and linebacker Christopher Mole, two of Conference USA's best defenders and two legit NFL prospects. They also have Noah Wilder, who surprised a lot of people last year, finishing with 85 tackles a year ago. But he'll be pushed by Jarian Street, who missed all of last year, but with an injury. Now, Smith had 17 and a half tackles, set tackles for a loss. And Alex Wright, who's a sophomore, had eight and a half tackles for loss. Those are guys off the edge that are going to be very good. And they get a South Alabama transfer in Tyree Turner, and as well as junior college transfer Kelly Sanders, who figured to have an impact here. On the inside, they'll have senior Tony Fair, who's an all-conference candidate, but they need big seasons from a combination of Fish McWilliams, who's a sophomore, and veterans Antonio McCultry and Michael Fairbanks II, as well as junior college transfer Isaiah Forty. In the backfield, they're very, in the back end, they're very experienced. They have all-conference quarterback Bronte Harris back after a foot injury cost them all last year. And they're very deep at that position, too. They have T.D. Marshall, Starling Thomas, V. Deverick Bynum, 
Keandre Swoops, Xavier Lanier, and C.D. Daniels vying for time. They also get Will Bowler and Grayson Cash at safety. And D. John Turner is coming off a breakout season playing the star position. Now, when you look at their special, their kicking game, they have sophomore Wilson Beaverstock and freshman Matthew Quinn. And neither have game experience. Nick Vogel was their starter last year. He's gone. Nick Kyle Greenwell is going to be the punter. He's a third-year starter there. And they have Mitchell there on kick returns. Now, when you look at UAB, since they came back in 2017, the expectations have never been higher. And this was before COVID. Who knows now after COVID. They're coming off back-to-back championship game appearances in Conference USA. And they return more players with starting experience and have more proven depth than in previous years. They're going to have to step their game up against better competition. And they'll have that right away September 10th when they come to Hard Rock. They were not competitive in four of their final five losses. There's a reason to believe the defense will be, will be the best in, in that conference. And I'll tell you, UAB is going to be a team that's going to be dealt with this year. Now, assuming we play. Um, so, I'm thinking in our game, I think Canes win that ball game. So, when you consider where UAB has been, it is just phenomenal. That said, I'm going Canes 31 UAB 7. Part 2, we will talk about the Louisville Cardinals in Part 2 of the series.